Well, we are in the kitchen this morning with Chef James Allen from the Blackthorn Club and Katie Prender, gas friend, Second Harvest Food Bank of Northeast Tennessee. And we are talking about the Farmer and the Chef event coming up. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, great Thanks to be here. Yeah. Us. So, Katie, I'm going to start with you. Tell me a little bit about the Farmer and the Chef event. So, the Farmer and the Chef is one of our fundraisers uh, next to our golf tournament. It also happens at the Blackthorn Club. And it's on September 7th. And it's just a, a big event where we're able to bring together chefs with local farmers and just a really great uh, fundraising event for the community. That's great. And obviously it all goes back to the folks here that live in our region that need some assistance throughout the year. Uh, and so Chef James, I want to ask you, tell me a little bit about the partnership between Blackthorn and Second Harvest Food Bank. Yeah, so I think this will be our seventh year wow. uh, at the Blackthorn with Second Harvest. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, looking forward to doing it for many, many years from, <laughs> to come. Um, but it's great. We get to, you know, play and, and use local farmers mm -hmm. and really, uh, you know, just give the community something so they can give back. Yeah, and have a lot of fun with it, too. I'm sure you get to be a little creative with the dishes, right? Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And so we were talking, too, about how you are just so busy this year. But one thing that's kind of great about the Farm and the Chef is that you get to use local produce. Exactly. Uh, so what's great about it for me is I've already got a great partnership with a bunch of local farmers mm -hmm. and so they're able to kind of bring in their products I can showcase it so when you go to the farmers market you hear that name and you know that you know the quality that you're gonna get right and that's just one of the things that makes it this event stand out compared to all of the other yeah. fundraisers this mm -hmm. is one of the biggest fundraisers for you all throughout the year right it is it is we at this event we're able to do auctions and, and things like that to drive more funds in for our region because um, mm -hmm. right now we're still serving about 43,000 people a month so we wow. really focus on these fundraising uh, fundraising events to be able to uh, to make that change in our community. Well, especially now that the school year is starting yep. too, a lot of families, mm -hmm. a lot of kids are looking to you guys to help them throughout the year. Especially with our backpack program. Yeah. yeah. That's that's our biggest portion of the year. So. Yeah. Well, now let's talk about the event itself. Kind of describe to us what the event it is. When people come through the doors at Blackthorn, what can they expect? Well, when you come through the doors, we'll be able to have a whole patio filled with chefs and, and pretty much you'll get to go around and explore and try different different types of food. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be all different types. I'm sure you're going to touch on who all is going to yeah. be there. Yes, yeah, so so let's go to the food. Yeah. <laughs> the most important part that everyone wants to know. Tell me a little bit about some of the food that people will be able to all right, taste. So one of my favorites, Fire in the Hole, is going to okay. be there. So they make some awesome pizzas with some local, uh, the Ziegenwald goat cheese and mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, we've got Raw Chef Jane, mm -hmm. Olive Oil Devon's going to be there with their flavored vinegars and oils. Um, Scott Harris from Moe's, mm -hmm. Original Barbecue, so yep. he's going to have some Alabama barbecue, which Ooh. I like being from Birmingham. <laughs> uh, we got Food City that's going to have their corporate chef, and okay. then Lauren Jones from J-Bake. Wow. Uh, so they'll be whipping up some, some awesome desserts. So really just a lot of different types of food. Yeah, it's a great time to come out and just try, I mean, yeah. 15, 20 different little samples. Right, so. and what's great too is that come hungry oh, yeah. and you do yeah. definitely <laughs> do not leave hungry, right. So what are we making today? All right, so today we're gonna make a savory French toast. Okay. Um, so I've Ooh. got a savarin here, which is kind of like a bready, yeasty donut, uh -huh. but not sweet. Uh, then I've got some Ziegenwald goat cheese. I've got some grilled South Carolina peaches uh, and then some fresh thyme and we're gonna mix all that together, make a little French toast and then kind of stuff it with the cheese and the peaches. Wow, so like you said, kind of a savory mm -hmm. French toast. Yeah. And when we come back, you'll kind of put it all together for us, yeah. right? Yeah, sounds great. All right, great. And so Katie, if people are interested in From the Chef, let's give them the kind of basic details of the event. Well, you can get tickets online at our website at netfoodbank.org. Um, you just click right on the Farmer and the Chef right there on the home page, uh, or you can just give us a call and we'll, we'll be able to get your tickets for you online as well. All right, great. Thank you so much, Katie and Chef James. We so appreciate it. Make sure you mark it on your calendar. The Farmer and the Chef event happening on Thursday, September 7th at the Blackthorn Club. All the information is right there on your screen. screen. Coming back after the break, we will be putting together the savory French toast.